Hey. Hey, hi. Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. Hello. That's brutal. Just, just two patriotic girls. So please don't take us the wrong way. Hi. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Appreciate having you. That's right. We're having a busy weekend. It's a holiday weekend for us, and we're celebrating and grilling out and enjoying family and friends. It is our 4th of July weekend. Happy July 3rd. Day before July 4th. <laughs> and do not get mad at us. This is the first time we've ever shown our flag on it here. Is. We showed, it's we our showed, turn. Yeah, it's our turn, darn it. We show all the all the flags. We've shown the, the Scottish flag. We've shown the Welsh flag. The, the Union flag. We, we do it all. We do them all. But today, it's, it's America. It's America. It's America. <laughs> America. And we are American. Let's not forget that. <laughs> that we are. That we are. Two American girls. Two American girls. So um, we were thinking, what's a good video to do on our July 4th weekend? That's right. So we got to go with Al Murray. The pub landlord himself. And if you haven't noticed by now, he has become my favorite British comedian. Our favorite. Okay, sorry. <laughs> is he your favorite too? I didn't know that actually. He is. He's funny. He's brilliant. He is too doggone smart. I can understand him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, before we jump into that, it'd be awesome if you guys could jump into that like button and tap that for us if you like the content we great. put out for you. Um, <laughs> consider subscribing to the channel. Guys, don't do that though if you're here just for comedy. Um, most of you all know that we're not big stand-up comedian fans and we only do like one a month. We try to. That's um, right. So please do not subscribe if you're just here for the comedy. Um, but consider subscribing. Only. Yeah, check out our, our other content. Make sure that you like what we do and what we put out there before you hit the subscribe button. Before we get on, real quick, um, stick around at the end of the video. We have some really cool P.O. Box gifts that we want to share with you. We want to thank those folks for sending them over. We appreciate it. Um, and also, we want to thank those folks over at Patreon. That's um, right. You yeah. get exclusive content that you can only get on Patreon. Um, so if you haven't checked it out, head over there and check it out. That's, that's absolutely right. So anyway. So today we're going to do um, Al Murray, All Jobs Are Terrible. And the way we found this video is not a way we've ever actually done it before in the past. Debbie actually did like a roulette wheel of just spinning mm -hmm. and came up with a video and just kind of put her finger there and said that one. I did. And I like the title of it. Yeah, we get so <laughs> many people suggesting comedians to us and then what to do in those comedians that it gets overwhelming. This will be the third video we've done of Al Murray. And of course, haven't seen this. Wonder if you have. Let us know. Um, so we're excited to check this out with you guys today. Thought it would be a great way to start a Sunday. That's right. It's a great celebration. Absolutely. So let's see why all jobs are terrible. Although we all know why. Work. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> no jobs. All it's cracked out to be. That's a fact. Fellow there in the jumper. What's your name, sir? Oh. Carl. What do you do, sir? Production manager. Production manager. Ooh. What have you p p production managed that we might? Conferences. Conferences. <laughs> Fucking hell, non-essential personnel. <laughs> yeah, is that all it's cracked up to be? It's all right, yeah. No, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Is it? <laughs> Cleaning windows, is that all it's cracked up to be? Then again. No, working IT, is that all it's cracked up to be? No, being a fireman, is that all it's cracked up to be? Yeah. No, it isn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sat around all day doing fuck all, waiting for something to happen. <laughs> 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 Working for Red Bull, is that who's cracked up to be, love? No, no job in the world is all it's... Being a teacher, is that all it's cracked up to be? No, it isn't, love. No, it isn't. Apart from the holidays. No, it isn't. <laughs> no job in the world. Not even being the Pope is all it's cracked up to be. Now, being Pope no. looks like a good job, doesn't it? Yeah? Head of the world's biggest church, you can tell people to do all sorts of stupid stuff, and they have to fucking do it. Brilliant. Sounds brilliant, doesn't it? Sounds like a fucking gas, doesn't it? Yeah, but no one listens to the Pope, do they? No one. Do we have any Catholic ladies present this evening? Yeah, one down there, yeah? yeah? What's your name, love? Jenny. Jenny. Beautiful British name. No, you're a Catholic. Of course you understand the divinity. <laughs> Sorry. Whatever he does. Beautiful British name. It doesn't matter what the name is. It <laughs> always cracks me up. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to come after you a little bit because Debbie grew up and went to Catholic school. <laughs> I did. So this might come back to get you. I just want to say really quickly, though, you love your job. I do. But it's still not what it's cracked up to be. Is it that true? Because, I mean, I've never met anyone in my life that loves their job as much as Debbie does. I do love it, but there's bad things about everything. Oh, sure. Okay. Just curious. Yeah. yeah what's your name, love? Jenny. Jenny. Beautiful British name. No, you're a Catholic. Of course you understand the Da Vinci Code and all that. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> the 
girl. Now, basically, yeah, you don't listen to the Pope, do you, Dolly? You don't listen to the Pope, do you? No, of course not. You've got one in your handbag, haven't you? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you fool, hey! Yeah, you Catholic girls are the worst, don't you? Because you get forgiven whatever it is you do. <laughs> <laughs> he is and he oh. is just oh gosh he's too much for me sometimes it's too much for me it's delivery it's his freaking delivery you know it's mm. just <laughs> he's better than everyone else he just is i have if anyone could ever find somebody for me that you think's better than Al marie i will eat my shirt mm. because i don't say it happening <laughs> yeah now the truth is No one listens to the Pope. Mind you, I wouldn't want to be Pope because you've got to wear a dress, isn't it? You've got to wear a frock. <laughs> fucking interesting. But no one listens. And it's a shit job, isn't it? Because who here like who here likes Christmas dinner? <laughs> what do we like? <laughs> Christmas dinner. When do we want it? <laughs> Christmas. <But> now Christmas. <laughs> he said now. <laughs> Everyone loves Christmas dinner. Yeah, and you'd think being the Pope, Christmas Day would be the best day of the year, wouldn't it? Because you get to eat Christmas dinner all fucking day. You just suck his face full of Christmas dinner 24 hours of the day, Christmas Day. You'd think that being Pope, but no! 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 <laughs> this is why being Pope is not what it's cracked up to be. Right, because not only is no one fucking listening, but he has to say grace in 178 languages. <laughs> Christmas dinner. <laughs> I have never thought of that. <laughs> I just, it's not just that, too. First of all, look where I pause. It's hilarious. Um, but also the fact that the thing he goes to about being Pope, that would be great, was is Christmas dinner. Right. <laughs> I'm sure there's other Good. perks. I don't know what they are. Um, <laughs> all the travel. Uh, but <laughs> well, Obviously, it's not a perk because you have to say grace in 170 different languages. Not in the same day. You don't get to eat. Except for Christmas dinner. You don't get to eat. <laughs> But when he said, what do we want? Christmas dinner. When do we want it? And the whole audience says now. No. He's like, no, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it was just funny. Hey, the fucking pieces, wouldn't it? In nomine patri, et filio, et spiritu sancto. Oh, I can smell those, uh, those sausages. <laughs> <laughs> those sausages wrapped in bacon. <laughs> Oh, one of them sprouts. Sprouts. <laughs> well, they have them once a year and they disagree with me, but I fucking love them. <laughs> Ravey, oh, fuck it, I'm going to skip Spanish. They're not listening, are they? Oh, no. This <laughs> <laughs> um, is too funny. I'm sorry. It's the way he talks, the way he does his arm movements. I always drool when I watch Al Murray. <clears throat> and I hurt my jaws. My jaws hurt. Huh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no one has a better delivery. No, it's uh -uh. <laughs> rewind that back because I didn't even hear it. <laughs> I love the two fingers too. <laughs> He's like a giant genius child in some ways. We only have them once a year, and they disagree with me, but I fucking love them. <laughs> so hey, hey, oh fuck it, I'm gonna skip Spanish. They're not listening, are they? <laughs> no point bothering with the English. They gave up a long time. <laughs> It's Christmas! <laughs> I mean, being the queen isn't all it's cracked up to be. It isn't. It isn't. When you little girl, did you just like to run around in knickers pretending to be a princess? Did you? <laughs> you did, did you? Yeah. You did, did you? Yes. You did, you? Tell me you did, yeah? <laughs> so let's skip that. When was the last time you ran around in knickers pretending to be a princess? When was that? On your honeymoon? <laughs> The truth mm -hmm. is this. All little girls wanted to be princesses, didn't you girls? Yeah? Yes. yeah? But actually, being a queen is not all it's cracked up to be, is it? Right? It's not all it's fucking cracked up to be. Right? Because in life, in life, lads, yeah, you like films. Do you like films, son? You do? Yeah, well, films are a load of shit, right? They're lying to you. Right? Because in life, there is no soundtrack. In real life, there isn't a soundtrack. When you meet the woman of your dreams, you don't suddenly burst into song spontaneously. <laughs> there are no tense violins when you crash your dad's car for the first time. <laughs> Put it in a ditch and have to lie about someone nicking it. <laughs> that doesn't happen. There are, there's no music in real life. There is no soundtrack, exactly. is there? Unless, of course, you're a majesty the queen. Yeah? And she has a soundtrack everywhere she goes. The, the greatest tune in the world, which is, of course, 
Let me ask you something. My favorite shoe and your. He can't get through a single sketch we've watched without doing the Queen. Sneak that in there. I, Everyone. I love that though. That's one of the things I love about I know, the guy. It's awesome. It's freaking cool as hell. My favorite shoe, I'm sure. Here, here we go. Yes, I agree. <laughs> in the world. It's you and me. It's you and me. Yeah, to imagine the queen is the most fucking annoying thing in her life. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere <laughs> she goes, she has a soundtrack to her life, but it's the same tune every single time. You see her at state function, her eyes go blank and dead. She's thinking, oh, fuck, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. We all know what it's like to have that one song stuck in your head and you can't get it out of there no matter what you do for like a week. Oh, yeah, you know who puts it there half the time, Imagine Debbie. being the queen. <laughs> Debbie loves putting songs in my head all the yeah, time. Yeah, I do do that. Oh, my God. You did it right before this video and I don't remember what it is. Thank <laughs> God Almarie took it out of my head. But I never thought of that. That's so true. Like any, well, I've, I've thought about it with bands, you know, like, mm -hmm. of course, you guys know I'm the biggest queen fan in America. Having to play Bohemian Rhapsody or listen to it all the time is going to be like, mm -hmm. good Lord, we will rock you. It's like, yeah, but yeah, not again. And that's even worse because they're doing that stuff every night sometimes on tour for years and years and years. That's yeah. even worse. Um, that pays the bills, so they really shouldn't complain too much. But mm -hmm. yeah, but that's funny. I never thought of that. Now I'm picturing poor little Queen Elizabeth walking around going, "Oh, please, just stop." <laughs> <laughs> Where's my earplugs? <laughs> exactly. Very good point, Mr. Murray. Up in her furs and that sort of furry helmet crown thing turns up, and then has to make shit small talk. Oh, really? You're a fireman? Well, get on with it then. <laughs> <laughs> See, you disgust me, grow up. <laughs> Put the chips down, Big Bob. Now... <laughs> so that job's not all it's cracked up to be, but being an astronaut is definitely not all it's cracked up to be. Now, do you, do you, do you like sci-fi films? <laughs> you, you like them? You like a bit of the old sci-fi? Do we like a bit of the old sci-fi? <laughs> yeah. Did you see the last Star Wars film? Do you like that? Let's like start like Revenge of the Sith, wouldn't it? Revenge oh, of the Sith. Old. It? Revenge of the Sith. Like that. And it was the sixth film, but in fact it was the third film, wasn't it? Yeah? Because how those films work is the first, second, and third film, yeah, and the fourth, fifth, and sixth film, and the fourth, fifth, and sixth film, and the first, second, exactly. and third film. That so confuses me. Don't understand it. I can't tell you how many times if you're Star Wars fans like me, I have explained this to her. We watch I have her watch all the Star Wars, and I love Star Wars. And she still can't understand it. I don't know. I, I thought maybe Al Murray. That's awesome. It makes sense, but there's still one, two, and three, which were the original ones back in the 80s. No. When I saw them. No, they weren't. The those were four, one, five, and six. One, and the third one. No, those were four, oh, five, and six. One, two, and three. <laughs> and so all right, remain. One, Star Wars fans below say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking yanks. Now. Wait, hey! wait, what do we do? <laughs> film. Yeah, and the fourth, fifth, and sixth film. And the fourth, fifth, and sixth film. And the first, second, and third film. Oh, you've done this for that. Fucking yanks. Now, <laughs> what is this? You love that film, don't you? Love it. Love it. The old Darth Vader. <laughs> all that, yeah, yeah. And the old Stormtroopers. <laughs> all that, yeah, yeah. And the old Bookie. Uh, all that, yeah. <laughs> the x wing fighters and the droids. <laughs> well, you love all that, don't you? I just, I'm freaking out right now because I love Al Murray and I love Star Wars and I'm like, the two together. I never thought I'd see the two combined in one thing. I know. He just made Star Wars. He just did everything in Star On Wars. Stage. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Like that video, guys. If you're a Star Wars, hit that <laughs> like button. I'm fr I want to hit the like button and I can. I want to hit the, our own like button right now. That was epic. <laughs> that was epic. Oh my gosh. You love it. You love it, don't you? Say I love it. Go on, I love it. Yeah, well, it's for it. kids. Fucking grow up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Murray, no. Hmm. Being an astronaut isn't all it's cracked up to be. Now, Harvey, do you remember the moon landing, sir? Of course you do, back in the late 60s, and you know late 60s. Now, <laughs> now, 
Do you remember the names of the men who landed on the moon, Harvey? No. No, you don't. Right, okay. Rhoda, any idea? What? The names of the astronauts. Go on, Rhoda. Go on, Rhoda. The names of the astronauts. I have no idea. You have no idea. They were called Neil Armstrong <laughs> and Buzz Aldrin. Right, fine. Who I had the privilege to meet earlier this year. Neil Armstrong oh, and Buzz to... Aldrin. Yeah, first two men on the moon, yeah? One small stick from me, one small stick from mankind, all that. <laughs> $25 billion spent to discover that when you walk on the moon, you walk like a fucking gingerbread man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of gingerbread. Nah. <laughs> but actually, there was a third bloke went with them. Yeah, Ooh. a man by the name of Michael Collins. Oh, why is that? played by Liam Neeson. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> why Liam Neeson? Michael Collins. Oh, sure. Well, uh, is it because it's an Irishy kind of name? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I said Tom Collins earlier. Got that wrong. Michael Collins. Okay, let me rewind that back. Sorry. That just, I didn't Collins, expect right? a Liam Neeson. But actually, there was a third bloke went with him. Yeah, a man by the name of Michael Collins. That's played by Liam Neeson. Yeah. <laughs> I see where this is going. A man by the name of Michael Collins, who proves that no job is all it's cracked up to be. Yes, oh lord. Because <laughs> he spent, Michael Collins, he spent eight years in training to become an <laughs> astronaut, yeah? Then he went all the way, a quarter of a million miles, all the way to the fucking moon, yep, and then when he got there, there, wasn't allowed to land on the fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> Life is a series of endless, relentless, grinding disappointment, boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Well, if you guys don't know, uh, I'm a NASA nut. Um, I've worn quite a few NASA shirts and things like that, so some of you may have picked that up. But, um, you know, you have to have, back that you had to have somebody orbiting so they could dock mm -hmm. back together um, to pick them back up. Somebody had to stay up there. Yeah. And so, <laughs> poor Michael Collins, you know, never got to be on the moon, but he went with them. Mm -hmm. So he couldn't see it out the window. And so, right. I... I when he brought I this up, it. and then I forgot about the title of what this video was. All jobs are terrible. <laughs> so you're like, oh my god, this is so perfect. Yeah, terrible experience. Five days it took him to get there. Yeah, they sat in the capsule. Off they went. We're going to the moon. We're going to the moon. <laughs> to the fucking moon. We're going to the moon. Come on, Neil. Come on, Buzz. We're going to the moon. <laughs> Neil, Buzz, and Mike are going to the moon. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be great. We're going to be walking on the fucking fucking moon. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be come on. Not that. <laughs> they get there, pull up. <laughs> and the other two have become increasingly shifty as the journey has progressed. <laughs> <laughs> Nod to one another without making eye to contact with Michael Collins, <laughs> unhook themselves, like that, and float away. <laughs> <laughs> through the tunnel connecting Columbia, the command module, with Eagle, the lunar lander. They float through. This is zero gravity you've got going on here. They float through. <laughs> Not with the legs, obviously. They float through. <laughs> Close the hatch behind them. Look <laughs> like that. Press the button. Bye, Michael. And fuck off. <laughs> <That's> not right. <laughs> <laughs> reminding me of right now when you watch Family Guy and they do something like that comes in for a minute and it's like what the heck and then they keep doing it and they keep doing it and it's like how long are you going to go with that right. <laughs> <laughs> nice nice well done nice moon landing it's a great moon landing <laughs> epic Okay. I love him. I did love his thing. The first men on the moon, leaving Michael Collins <laughs> on his own in that command module. On his own for 23 hours. On his own going round and round the moon. <laughs> on his own for 23 oh, yeah. hours in 44 minute orbits. Round 
and round the moon. Oh, 23 so. hours, plenty of time to ponder exactly how fucking disappointing being an astronaut might be. And that whole time he's out there, he's going, you lying fucking bastard! <laughs> you lying fucking, you wankers! <laughs> Why did they didn't join in with a song off a fuck song? <laughs> Are you lying? Are you one <laughs> small step for a <laughs> more like? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, and it ends right there. Oh. Epic. Oh my oh, gosh, God. he just crushed that. Oh. He just crushed every job on planet Earth and outside of planet Earth, actually. Absolutely. Um, that was epic. I have to say this right now. Um. So this is our, actually, technically it's our fourth reaction video because the last one we did, which was we we learned that um we looked back, we did our very first Al Murray video eight months ago, and the the last one four months ago. So apparently oh, really? we did Al Murray for four months. Nope. Um but the first one we did was Al Murray versus versus the Americans. Mm -hmm. And then the, the one we did after that, we did two videos. It was um Name a Country England is Defeated and then National Anthems. So out of those and what we just saw, mm -hmm. I have to say my favorite is still Al Murray versus the Americans, because that was just hilarious. And then this one. This is my second favorite. Yeah, this was this really was, good. Did you like it too? I did. I thought that was hilarious, especially, oh my gosh, Michael <laughs> Collin. <laughs> Poor guy. I never thought about that though, really. That he made it way <laughs> further than a lot of other astronauts. Yeah, but who would have <laughs> once, I mean, that's so not fair. You get that close to the thing, you know, that no one else has yeah. done before. You get to watch two other guys go do something and you don't get to do it. That sucks. And then no one remembers your name in history. Most people don't. That part really does. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, most people don't know the poor guy's name. I even got it wrong. I said Tom Collins. It's Michael Collins. You at least knew his last name. If you guys like that half as much as obviously we did, hit that like button. Um, and consider subscribing to the channel. Um, <clears throat> let us know what your thoughts are on, on your job. What do you do? What mm -hmm. do you like about it? Or what do you don't like? What do you not like about it? Like, we'd love to hear something in, in the comments, like a little short, short yeah, like, paragraph. Yeah, like, why is your job? Yeah. Even if it's like the greatest job ever, give us something about it that's like, no, nothing sad, of course. No. Like, if you're like a doctor or nurse, please don't do that. Something comedic. Yeah, let's make something funny out of it. <laughs> I think that'd be fun to do. Um, but I had a blast with that. That's a great way to start the day. Good. Heck yeah. Lots of laughs. Good way to start the week off. Absolutely. Loved that so freaking much. We really hope you guys enjoyed that too. Um, anyway, so now we want to go ahead and show you guys some of our awesome P.O. Box gifts that we've received. All right, guys, so the first thing we have to show you today, um, we got from Alan M., which we really appreciate, and it is a CD. Um, I can't actually see what it says. <laughs> of the Northumbrian Small Pipes and Fiddle, which is pretty cool. I haven't had a chance to uh, listen to it just yet, but um, it is really cool, and um, he sent us a little note and um, had said that um, he was looking for a DVD, couldn't find one. He enclosed the CD, and so that we can find um, the lady who does that. What was her name? Catherine... Catherine Tickle? Tickle or Tickle, I don't know. Um, but she's on, apparently she's on YouTube. And, um, which is really cool. So we're going to check that out. And we really appreciate that, Alan. So thank you for sending that over to us. Thank you, Alan. And then we have Doherty Words and Phrases. And this was sent from Terrence Miles. Would have been nice to have had this prior to me doing that video with your sister. Right. Do, yeah. Could have used this as my cheat guide. But no, this is cool. So thank you for this. There's no way we're ever going to be able to pronounce this, right? No. But it could be fun for a future video. So we can try. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for saying that to us. This is going to be fun to play with. <laughs> I'm going to mess this up so bad. <laughs> this is so pretty. Um, from Tracy Morgan. Um, this is really, really pretty. Um, we said in the last video that um, on the 14th of this month is Debbie and I's 10-year wedding anniversary. That's right. Now, we've been together 18 and a half years, but 10 years married on July 14th. And she sent us this beautiful, beautiful anniversary card. Thank you, Tracy. How pretty is that? And then she wrote some beautiful things in here, um, which we really appreciate so very much. And then she puts, she wrote in Welsh, happy anniversary at the bottom too, which is so cool. So Tracy, thank you so much, sweetheart. That really does mean the world to us. Uh, we talk to Tracy often over on our Facebook page. So I feel like yes. you're like a sister. So yeah. thank you. Thank you, Tracy. We really appreciate it. We got this from Lee. He sent uh, Natasha a... Polished sixpence. Yeah. Got to get the box over Yeah, there. I can Thank tell you. you're sort of very shiny sixpence. Again, Brian May, when you come to America <laughs> to do your shows, you come to me for your guitar picks. 
That's why I have them. And then we got a Welsh mug with a spoon. An actual teaspoon, unlike our American okay. teaspoons that are gargantuan. How cute is that? So I will say, Debbie's gotten quite a few Welsh items. And yes. I realized I never, we never told you guys this on YouTube. We said it over on Facebook Live, but we never told you on YouTube. Yes. So, Ancestry seems to have updated. That seems to. They have updated. And I no longer have the Welsh in me. Debbie lost her Welsh ancestry. So not fair. But guess what? She got it. I am now the Welsh one. <laughs> so I will take this mug. <clears throat> we will share the mug. I know. But um, <laughs> but no, oddly enough, I got now, I got now, I now have 3% Welsh ancestry. I did not yes. before. And she lost it, but she gained more of her Italian ancestry. So hey, hey. there's another thing here we got um, still also um, from Lee. This is pretty doggone cool, and I really appreciate this. You guys know, I, again, my love for Queen. <clears throat> I got my very first ever actual United Kingdom CDs. She's got Tyson's going to get up, but while he's getting up, I can still show you. I've never had a CD from the UK, which makes me love these even more for that reason, because, come on, I mean, this is where Queen is actually from, right? Um, but I've never had any from there. So I super, super appreciate this very, very, very much. Um, he said these were a couple of Queen UK CD singles, uh, which came from the Maiden Hel he Heaven album back in 95. Um, and he had doubles. So how nice of him to give me some that he already had. I really appreciate this, Lee, so very much. I really do, because, uh, you know, I love Queen to death. So anything we get, or I get that's Queen related, I cherish dearly. Thank you so much. And that leads us to our last thing. Which I am about to walk out of this video on because it's making me very sad because, uh, first of all, I will say we do not know who sent this. There was no name. No name. Um, but, you know, I'm fine with this. This doesn't bother me at all. Got a jersey. Yeah, got a jersey, all right. A rugby jersey. A Welsh uh -huh. one. An official Welsh rugby jersey. We know it's from, like, last year. But guess what? Guess what? The back part dun, makes dun, me... Dun, dun. Yeah, that's not fair. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Please let me know if you sent this mm. so I can say thank you. Mm. I'm fine with it. <laughs> I opened it's the really parcel. nice and heavy. I opened the parcel bag and I'm like, oh, this is so awesome. Then I saw the back and I'm like, I'm looking back at the parcel bag like, wait, wait where's, where's mine? Where, where, where's mine? <laughs> and I'm like smacking this bag and she's laughing at me and I'm like, but I didn't get one. <laughs> I'm like, I'm the one who likes rugby. I'm the one who found the rugby video. Both like rugby. I pretend that I like it more. No, I just, I'm happy she's got it. But I did wear it for a moment. And then I told her I was going to steal it. And then do you remember what you said to me? That it fits you better. No, that's not what you, that is not what she said. She said, my name's in the back. You can't steal it. I did say that. <laughs> so yeah, let us know who the mystery person is that sent that awesome rugby jersey. Um, by the way, when Ancestry updated, I also got an increase in my Scottish Ancestry. You did. So I'll be happy to wear a Scottish rugby jersey. I'm just Ooh, then that we can have a rugby match. That could go very, very bad. But no, seriously, thank you guys so much. Anyone who sends us anything, yes. we appreciate it. It's so kind of you to think of us at all. Absolutely. It, it really is. Um, wish we could send you all something back, even just whatever, anything. But thank you so very much. Thank you so much for watching. We really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, we're going to go get back into our July 4th uh, weekend festivities. That's right. And um, Got more girl in to do. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch our video. And again, we'll see you back on Wednesday. That's right. Until next time. Bye, guys. Thanks so Bye. much. Bye.